Hello, I'm Theo Huckle and I'm the Council General for Wales. I've been a practising barrister here in Wales for many years. I was appointed to the Office of Council General by Her Majesty the Queen in June 2011. This was at the recommendation of the First Minister, Carwyn Jones, and given with the approval of the National Assembly for Wales. As Council General, I'm the Welsh Government's Law Officer and it's my responsibility to provide legal advice for the First Minister and the other Welsh Ministers on any legal matters they need my help with. Though I'm not a Welsh Minister, I do attend Cabinet meetings at the invitation of the First Minister and I'm bound by the Welsh Government's Ministerial Code, although some of my functions are exercised independently of Government. The Office of the Council General can be held by an Assembly Member or not. Previous Councils General were also elected Assembly Members Mine's the first appointment as a non-Assembly member, Council General. Like Welsh Ministers, I'm able to make appropriate representations about any matter affecting Wales, whether devolved or, devolved or not, and I regularly do so by way of meetings and correspondence with the UK Government and others. The Assembly now has broad powers to pass primary legislation, and it's part of my role to consider whether there's any question over whether an Assembly Bill is within legislative competence, and I can refer those matters, amongst others, to the Supreme Court for a decision. This is one of the functions I exercise independently. It was to prove that a bill was firmly within devolved power that I represented the Welsh Government at the Supreme Court in November 2012. The Local Government Bylaws Wales Bill was referred to the Court by the Attorney General for England and Wales as he felt it exceeded devolved powers. But in fact, the five Supreme Court Justices unanimously agreed with the Welsh Government's position that the bill was indeed lawful. The bill, and the act that followed, was a landmark for Wales. It was the first to be passed by Assembly members since the National Assembly gained direct lawmaking powers following the Welsh referendum on 3rd March 2011. And it forms part of a growing body of Welsh law, which is increasingly divergent from that emanating from Westminster. With this in mind, I'm currently working on ensuring that devolved law is as clear and accessible to the public as possible. As the Welsh Government's Chief Legal Advisor, I also have oversight of all of the legal proceedings in which the Welsh Ministers are engaged, and on occasion I may appear in court in person. Any rep representations I make, however, whether on matters which are devolved or not, all have the same overarching aim to protect and promote the interests of the people of Wales. 